why would I go and meet those people that surround the president that don't tell him the truth? <laughs> Let me go straight into the nitty gritties. Um, I want to state this uh, that this morning I was called by uh, Mr. Kaoma Chomba Kaoma who said, uh, Chela, uh, Lusambo wants to have lunch with you today so that we resolve these issues. Eh? properly then when we've resolved these issues we go to state house to see the president but first the president said D, that you told me that no the president has said that sort out the issues with poor man then you come to me now me i was like i <laughs> i read the situation i read because uh <laughs> I read between lines, okay? I read between lines and uh, yeah. I said, oh, lunch. Now, let me give you a background. Fellow Zambians, you all know that uh, I had a job, okay, to market a single lodges. My brother gave me a job. After going through what I was going through in my marriage and my relationship, he gave me a job. I was getting paid 25,000 kwacha. I was given a car. Okay. And he even went on to say, I'm going to buy you a car at Sifau, a fold in the copper belt. And we got a quotation. And uh, I started marketing as single lodges. You all okay and uh, i started marketing but then i started talking politics okay and when i started talking politics my brother said no uh chela you're talking politics you can't do business. you know you can't be associated with my business at doing politics because you know what the way it is in our country you can't uh do politics see, when you're a business person okay you can't do business when you're a business uh a person people are scared in this country to talk business so uh, when i was called to see Chela, you need to have lunch with uh, Bowman Lusambo. I, re I read between the lines. I have been trying to call my brother Biflo to say these guys, they are trying to separate you and me. They are trying to separate you and me. So you have to be very careful. If you remember very well, if you remember very well, I posted a photo of B Flow on my Facebook trying to support him. I had told him, look at what they are writing. These people, they they have seen that you and I are doing something that is positive. But my brother B Flow didn't want to hear me out. So I said, okay, fine. Maybe we have different eh, agendas. My agenda is to speak for the poor Zambian people. And for me, uh, when even when my brother told me to say stop politics, what, what, he really sat me down. He called me to his farm in Palavana. We walked in his uh, tomato field. That's why I saw that there are Zambians, farmers, Vakamba, <laughs> who have made it in life. We walked one kilometer in the farm. He told me, Chela, this politics is top. Let's focus on the business. On the business. You can do well. Okay. You can do very well with the, your business. With the businesses. Stop talking about politics. It will just dent your image. We walked in the farm. 
we went to think now fellow zambians would i betray zambians over lunch when i refused to betray my my voice against corruption over a car 25000 kwacha salary and the house in roma okay and the house in roma no 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 i personally i've been trying to communicate with my brother biflo after i noticed that he was also looking for the people i've been trying to communicate with him i was called today okay i was called today chela come to we are going to have a meeting at state house but first we are going to have lunch with Bowman Lusambo. I refused. I personally refused. I said, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not me. I cannot go back on my word. Why would I go and meet those people that surround the president that don't tell him the truth? Those Zumani. Me, I go and meet Chris Zumani. I go and meet Isaac Chipampe. Why would I go and go? the same people that I was calling that they are, I was even feeling for my brother. Why would you write a letter? You write a letter to say I take him to the president. You leave the letter at the at the gate. Now you enter in there to say you're writing a letter. You could have called Chela Toguta, you could have called Mutale Mwanza, you could have called some people to say, guys, let's go. One thing I'll tell you, fellow Zambians, is that when we are in the public position, in a, when, you are, when you are in a position where we are, with a platform like this, there is a lot of people we represent. We represent a lot of people. And we as people have to be careful with the things we do because we are injuring the people. I refused to go to say no. Ine Nshitovela Okia Mukumona na Bubana that our president Awe Nis Nara Mwa Mwena. Why would I go and 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 lose respect from the Zambian people? over lunch with Boma and Usambo. When Boma and Usambo insulted the youths and called the youths disgruntled, he, dis, he called everyone of us and he owes the apology to the Zambian people. There was no need for me to go and speak there and represent myself. No, and I want Zambians to know one thing. There is a lot of Zambians that have been calling me from across the world, telling me how they are standing with me. I love Zambia. I cannot betray the youths in Shazongwe, in the youths in Shangombo. I can appoint the youths in Mansa, in Iruapula, I cannot disappoint youths in Kitwe, I cannot disappoint youths around the country. I cannot do that. If, I, if there is one person, there is no way I am going to have lunch with Boman Lusambo. Since when did Boman Lusambo invite me for lunch? Eh? Olo. The people have been calling corrupt are the people I'm going to be standing with and take photos with. What message will I communicate to the Zambian people? And me, I want to say this. I want to say this. You people, for me, I stand on one thing. And that thing that I've, uh, I stand on is that I stand on what I believe in. I stand on what I believe in. I stand on my word. 
and my word will stand. I am a man of integrity. I feel sorry for my brother Biflo because it is difficult for you to defend the photo. It is very difficult for you to defend the photo. I know those tricks and those moves where people tell you to say, oh, come to state house, the president wants... No, 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 no. Those things we know. I know these tricks. Hmm? We know these things where people call you and tell you, oh, okay, you come and what, what, what. Ah, we? Me, I'm one person who's standing for the Zambian people. This fight for me is a fight against corruption. It's a fight against the wrong people that surround our president. And I want to tell you something, fellow Zambians. I cannot betray the country over lunch. I cannot betray the country because if I write a letter, and I want to tell my brother, Biflo, you write a letter, will that letter even reach the president? <laughs> you get to the corridors of power. Did you even see the president? <laughs> the people you saw there are his assistants. They managed you. They were smart. They got you. Even took photos of you. You left your phone at the gate. When you go to state house, you leave your phone at the gate. So you, you go in there, no phone. How do you even defend yourself? How do you even defend yourself? By the time you are leaving the state house, they have posted on social media. You are defeated. You are defeated. I have been trying to call Biflo, my brother, to say, listen, my brother, these people, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. Ah, well, nothing. So for me, I want you Zambians to understand that my big brother offered me an opportunity, gave me a brand new car, Gave me a house, a good salary. But I refused. Would I surely compromise my integrity? I had lost. And there you go and say, no, I took a letter. A letter. Did you ask Mutari Mwanza? Did you tell Mutari Mwanza to say, Cheram, oh, I'm going to state house? Did you call Chela Tukuta to say, I'm going this side? And me, I want to make this clear. The PF cadres that are being used to communicate with me, I expose. I will expose. Don't communicate with me. Okay? Zambians are suffering. Things in our country are not okay. There is poverty in this country. I cannot betray the Zambian people that are suffering. Bowman Lusambo, when he called us disgruntled youths, he did not just call Chela disgruntled. He called every Zambian youth disgruntled. And he needs to apologize to every Zambian. And that's why I refuse to say, I'm not going to have lunch with Bom and Lusambo. If the president wants to meet me, if, the, if there is an appointment to see the president, I will go to State House, let's meet the president from State House. I'm not going to have lunch with Bom and Lusambo. And I refuse to have lunch with Bom and Lusambo. Okay? And what I want to say the Zambian people is that Chela is not that poor or that what to go and compromise for the sake of lunch, for the sake of uh, just to go and see those people that are around the president who are giving him wrong advice are the people I should go and have a meeting with. No, I have already told you. And what I want to say is, you people, when I started speaking against corruption, 
when I started calling out people that are corrupt in our government, you people started just uh, talking. Hey, I stand with this guy. You don't even understand why is Chela like this? Why is Chela speaking like this? You just started jumping on it. No, there is so much in the country. Look, <laughs> when you want to be an activist or you want to speak for, the, for you want to speak out, you need to know where you are standing. You need to know where you are standing. You need to know your ground, your foundation. Okay, in any movement, you need to be very strategic. You need to be strategic. Okay, now, they were very smart, took for, and I knew, Chelaris go and have lunch with Boma and Usam, but they wanted to take photos. Then what would my Zambian people say? Chela was dining with the people that he has called corrupt. Ah, we. Look, how many Zambians have applied for jobs and those letters have been delivered? <laughs> you write, you know, I took a letter to the press. <laughs> I, took a, I took a letter to the president. Which letter? You are representing yourself. You are not representing us. Chela, was re Chela has been representing the Zambian people that are suffering. Those are the people that I'm representing. I'm not representing myself. I'm representing my brothers and sisters in the villages who are affected by high levels of corruption, misappropriation of public funds. Those are the people I am speaking for. I was called for lunch. I refused. To date, they cannot come and say, oh, Chela came and had lunch. No. I am very stable with a conscience. I am very stable with a conscience. Okay? My conscience is very clear. My conscience is very stable. So, I cannot betray Zambia over lunch. And I was even calling my brother B. Flo to say, try to call him to hear, to say, look, these things, this is, these guys are calling me. Listen, this is what you need. I want Omuntunga live tari folks tanani kani. Eh, fish ninga staini. Kumuleka. Aya. Kumuleka. Aya. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I could do. My brother asked me what he could do. Me to do. I can do the studio for you. I will do this for you. Don't talk about politics. I told you my conscious. When I see the Zambian people suffering, my conscious, yes, I can get all these things. I've got an opportunity. I've got all these, I've got all these privileges. Let me clear this. I've got all these privileges. I have people that have offered me to say, no, 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 Chula, as long as you stop what you're talking about, we are going to offer you this. I have refused. When I was starting this movement to talk about against corruption, this movement and to inspire the youths out there to say we need to be speaking out. You needed to know what you're doing. It's not just a thing of waking up. No, we are tired. Enough is enough. Hey, I stand with him. <laughs> what are you standing for? Do you know what that person is standing for? That person is representing their needs. So, in India, I'm number three. Could be triplets. There'll be triplets. Ah, no, no, no. I know the triplets. 
I refuse. The twins are enough. And politicians are very clever. Politicians are very clever. It's about, you know, this guy is speaking. How do we get him? Got him, chop, fell into their trap, done. So, so, for me, I want to assure Zambian people and every Zambian that I shall not compromise and I shall not relent. And I want to tell every Zambian across the country wide that 22nd June 2020, I am joining all peace-loving Zambians okay that want to present their petition all the youths across the country go to the office of the, the, the district commissioner what let us have a peaceful protest don't come in your party regalia we don't want people to come with party regalia we don't want people to come with party regalia 22nd June, I am joining that peaceful protest. And I would love to appeal to our IG, Mr. Kanganda, sir. Sir, there is no one who is going to come armed. Why would you send armed? Why would you threaten us with armed officers? Mr. Kanganda, sir, in the United States, Donald Trump told Dizzy, a general to release you know to hammer those people on the streets the general had a conscience and refused and said we are sworn to protect the people mr kanganja sir you are sworn in by our president to protect the citizens of this country we are the people that voted for the party that is in power Okay, we voted for the people in power. And I want to appeal to your conscience that the 22nd June is a peaceful protest. It's a peaceful protest. So, outfits we are wearing, if it's black, Let's wear black. Let's go peaceful. Peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. We are a peaceful country. We are a peaceful nation. We are a peaceful country. Zambians are peaceful people. And that protest is peaceful. We are only coming with our voters' cards and our NRCs and also our certificates because we have no jobs for me and i want people to understand this our movement or this movement the baddest movement do not confuse people to just people just someone just wakes up and starts uh, talking and crying people are suffering people are suffering the baddest movement is a movement that is trying to call up call out people that are wrong the wrong people advising our president the corrupt people that are misappropriating our funds in this country and i want to state this we are not a violent movement we are a peaceful movement we are a I'm not going to be bought for anything. I'm not going to be bought for anything. And no one will buy me. No one will buy me. And I want to say this 
there is a disgruntled, not really disgruntled, but there is a disgruntled human being on Facebook who might even be watching this video. Busy calling Chela names, calling what, calling what. It's not me who made you lose popularity. Stick to your thing. And I want people to understand this. When you start speaking for the people, know why you are speaking for the people. Know why you are speaking for the people. Us is a peaceful movement. finish and all oh. we have a lot of educated policemen from the University of Zambia from different universities they understand the law and I would love to appeal to their conscience protect the Zambian people our president in Chirundu said that you know, there are people who are trying to civil societies and all. I was sad to understand that our president, I don't know. These people advise the president. You were telling the president, giving him wrong information to say there are people funding us. I personally, there's no one who's funding me. There's no one who's giving me money. Go and check in. You have the machinery, state machinery at hand. Go and check in my bank account. Whatever it is, check. Okay. I want to state that I was equally invited for lunch. I was equally called. But I refused to that. And I want to tell Zambian people that I'm not scared. For anything. A good name is better than expensive perfume. I'd rather leave a name, a clean name, to say Chela stood for something. Chela stood for something and Chela believed in something. So, I did not attend any meeting. I refused. And I want to state that I told my brother, B. Flo, I was trying to tell him to say, these moves, these guys have called me. What are you up? He didn't tell us. Maybe because he had state house and he was like, hey, state house, me had access to the president. Why would I go and besiege Pampe? When my, my, my concern is uh, telling my president what's going on in the country, why, go and see, why would I go and see those boys? No way. Zuman was my friend. I know Zuman. Chris Zuman. I know Chris Zuman. <laughs> That's why maybe he didn't tell me. I cannot be excited over a state house. I used to walk in those the, the corridors there. I cannot be be excited to say, oh, I've been caught. Hey, no. No, 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 no. This, for me, is a voice. This voice is a voice for the children in Shangombo, for the children in, in Keyema, for the children in Mwansabombwe, for the children in Kwakaputa, for the children in Chama district, for the children in Vubui, for the youths across the country who are suffering. I am not going to disappoint the Zambian people. I'm not going to accept anything, no bribe, no nothing, not even lunch. No. My conscience, why would I go and start dining with someone that was insulting the youths calling them disgruntled, useless, stupid, all kinds of names. Then I go and sit down and start eating with that person, dining with that person. What will Zambians think of me? What will Zambians think of me? 
Zambians would think that I'm also not straight. Chela means inshimbi. Chela means meto. Chela is meto. In me, I cannot think solo and disappoint the majority Zambian. The brother, and I miss him very much. If he's watching this video, I miss you very much, my brother. He told me, Stop politics, stop this jailer, and focus on your business. A lot of people have told me, Jailer, forget on your business, you know, forget politics and focus on your business. But my conscious is that why would I, you know, a lot of people are suffering. What you know, I'll tell you something about me. There's a lot of people I have adopted a child. There's a lot of people that have adopted children that have adopted that I help. I think of those children. I'm that person who doesn't think of just me, 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 me. No. Our brother Kings Malembe Malembe said. No, dad, I'm the son in the house. I could have come. I could have called you. Now, the problem also with you Zambians is that you... Those guys had their own agendas. I had my own agenda. 